Hi guys, today we have another episode of Kristen's <laughs> Kitchen, but we have a special guest, John. John is here and we're gonna be making, and Marcus, but you are gonna be in it at first. Yeah, 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 okay. Guys, what are we making today? Apple, Apple cider, cider donuts. donuts. Me and John love baking together. He loves desserts just as much as I do, and Marcus loves to, to eat, eat them. <laughs> so let's just get started. Let's get started. I'm a little hot. Me too. We're all a little sweaty. What is an apple cider donut, really? An apple cider donut is the donut you get before apple picking. And we were actually wanting to go apple picking, but something that's a little bit crazy is that there are no apples in this recipe. Are you serious? Yeah, there's no apples. Basically, what is in apple cider donuts is concentrated apple cider. We're gonna cook this down and that's gonna be the appleness of this recipe. When I was researching about this recipe, there aren't any really like popular apple cider donut recipes that aren't baked. Like a lot of them are baked, but okay. we wanted to fry because we really wanna get that experience. Mm -hmm. So I kind of mushed together three different recipes so hopefully it You're works. making your own recipe, because you're Kristen made. I'm Kristen you're made. Kristen made. So basically the first thing we gotta do is cook down the apple cider. We do. But John went to the store and they didn't have apple cider. <laughs> <laughs> so I got options. Organic apple juice from concentrate, it looks like cider. Sparkling apple cider. And I'm not really sure what Yeah, but it's Kristen that. made, so we wing it. Okay, this is we're gonna um, Party. Oh, frick, babe, come on. <laughs> uh, hurry up. Oh, this one. is gonna get choinked if you don't hurry it up. Who shook this? Oh, it's gonna get in that crack. Now it's all in that crack. Okay, that was our first exciting moment of the day. <laughs> <laughs> While we're cleaning this up, I think it'd be a fun little segment to say, this is my segment in my head that I thought of. Okay. Who's John? Okay. Oh. Cause I Hold on, wait. Say it like very zoinky into the camera. Three, two, go ahead. Say that thing again and then. The whole gonna, thing? Yes. Say okay. That. Who is John? Like that? Yeah, it's perfect. All right, this is your segment, bro. This is your one shot. This so, is, this is. Wait, gonna, wait, wait. You gotta get this. Everyone's gonna decide if they yes. subscribe to your YouTube channel or not from this very moment right now because John's starting a YouTube channel. I'm not starting a YouTube yeah. channel. John's starting a YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. 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 And so everyone's got to go subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Go subscribe to John's YouTube channel. <laughs> it's gonna be in the link below. One cup? Oh. Three cups. Oh, we're gonna do three cups here. Three cups here, three cups there. I, whenever she wants something, uh, photographically speaking, she'll be like, John, can you um, uh, do this and make it kind of like vintage? And I'm like- No, 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 you forgot the best part. What? Oh, vintage vibes. And I'm like, what is Vintage Vibes? That was in, in like 2002. No, and they just say, you know, it's all just like Vintage Vibes. It means nothing to me, but and that's a Vintage it's Spoon. It's his biggest pet peeve. I hate Vintage. Mom. I like fresh, new. So we're just basically cooking this down until it becomes a little bit thicker. I guess that's all we can really say about okay. that. Now that we have the apple cider cooking, we're gonna start on our dough, yes. which I already measured out all the ingredients. Look how in. nice this is. Yeah, it's like a real life cooking oh, show. Oh my gosh. So right here we have some baking soda, baking powder, and salt. One cup of whole wheat flour, two and a half cups of regular flour, which can just juke right on in. Juke it. And you can add that, John. Okay, add the, the brown, brown sugar. sugar. Oh my gosh. And I'll put all the exact ingredients down below, so you don't have to be worried. I'm worried. I'm worried too. Okay, I don't think you ever answered our question, how did we become best friends? How did we become best friends? Through our other best friend, Steven Cezanne. And we met about two years ago, and all became best friends. We did. Hey, you know, the camera's right here, guys. <laughs> I think you can start Look, we're, we're, we're so concerned really with our mixture. You know, I would love to have a food show. What Me it? too, mm -hmm. I, I would love that. Guess what, you're on one. What? It's called Kristen's Kitchen. Kristen's Kitchen. You know, I made up a theme song for Kristen's Kitchen, but then I never sang it after the first episode. What was it? It was, it's time to bake. It's time, time to, to bake. It's, it's time, time to, to bake, bake with Kristen. Mmm. Uh, I've never it, heard that before. It wasn't that good. <laughs> I just made up a song. It's, it's time, time to bake. bake. 
Apple cider donuts. Absolutely. Don't forget to whisk the flour. Just like I said, don't forget. <laughs> Add some spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper, and everything. I'm curious, how many episodes of Kristen's Kitchen have you watched? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so disrespectful. If you don't say ever watched it. Oh my god. Oh but, but, my. but, but, I will say, I have watched the ending of the poppy seed cake because I was in it. Ah! I'm really glad I got my first guest to be someone that's such a fan of the series. I love Kristen's Kitchen more than any other series on YouTube because I don't watch YouTube. Alright guys, I'm just making a public announcement because I'm going to be leaving the video for some time, but I will be back to taste them at the end. So just, if you want to scrub through this video, because it's probably going to be boring or whatever, to the very end where I come back in, um, you can start now. Start scrubbing. And then I'll be back at around the end. I wanted to give you an apron. You did? Yeah. Just got, try and get the perfect. I don't head. love it, to be honest. I look like a box. That's the point. To be a box. <gasps> the best is, is yet to come. Come, come a day, oh, <laughs> So right here is where we want it to be. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's... Oh, that is honestly perfection. Perfect. Okay, so this is gonna go in the freezer to cool for a bit. Should I do a freezer tour? No. <laughs> Nobody cares about the freezer tour. Okay, Chris, why don't I ask you a few questions on your, um, on your, uh, Where's the apron going? Kitchen series. What was the first thing you made in Kristen's kitchen? Chocolate vodka. What is that? It's like a choc- it's like a bread loaf with chocolate swirls running through it. Okay, what is your favorite thing you've ever made on Kristen's Kitchen? Well, there's only been three episodes. Oh. <laughs> but I think the one that most people have created, like, re recreated, recreated mm. was the um, cardamom buns. I got thousands of people that made those. Hundreds. Thousands. <laughs> Millions of people <laughs> made the cardamom buns. <laughs> the entire U.S. population made those buns. Wow! Seven tablespoons of melted butter. Perfect. Perfect. And Ooh. two eggs. Whisk that together and call it a day. And to this, we're going to be adding the apple cider concentrate as well. One cup of concentrate going in. Perfect. Okay, the wet ingredients are in. Hmm. I think it's not supposed to taste good at this point. It tastes good though. Yeah, it tastes not bad. No. It just tastes like dough. Yeah, yeah, it definitely tastes like Now basically what we do is we get um, a baking sheet, put parchment paper on, and roll this out. Okay, great. So we can start cutting oh, the shapes. Now we're just flattening out the dough with our hands to make it about half an inch thick. Half an inch? Yeah. I feel like mine's almost half an inch. Less. Less than half an inch? No, more. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you saying? <laughs> now we cover in foil. We're just making a quick little glaze three cups of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of apple cider. Great. Just okay. simple, easy. Oh my gosh, this glaze looks so good. Show them the consistency. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, show us, Chris. What do you have to flip? I have something special that I bought like a year ago and never have used once. This. To flip so the donuts. So, so we just put a whole thing of vegetable oil in. Yeah, about two to three inches of vegetable oil into a Dutch oven. Okay, and how hot do we need to get the oil? 350 degrees. So I have this thing, which isn't technically for oil, but it's like a little thermometer, and I think it'll work. And it tells you how 
what the temperature of stuff is. Great. Okay. Okay, ready? <gasps> Close wow. to the edge so we don't waste any. I've never made a donut. Wait, what would happen if you did it like that, I wonder? Probably just be like a little a patty. A big puff. John, we did it. Wow, happy fall. Happy fall? That's our first donut. Wow. Woo. Okay, we're doing a test with a little hole just to see if the temperature is correct. It needs to float. It's not floating. <laughs> you just gotta move it around, they said. Oh, oh, look, John, it's kind of doing something. It's kind of floating. It is floating. It's floating. It's floating. <laughs> John, look, it puffed. Look at that. Should we roll it in the cinnamon sugar? Yeah, yeah. We have a little station going here. <laughs> oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. John, 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 John. It's really hot. Okay, okay. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're starting. Here, put it in this first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ow! That thing was hot. It's getting brown so quick. I know, is the oil too hot? It's at a perfect temperature, it said. Do yeah. I put it in the cinnamon sugar? Uh, sure, why not? Wait, is that how you're supposed to do it? It's like drizzling oil. Uh. How does yeah. it feel? Not good? I don't know. Maybe. I've just never known any, I don't know anything about fried things. Let's open it. It's perfect. Oh wait, that is perfect. I'm confused. Mmm. No way. Mmm. No. <laughs> what? I'm... It's so good. That is so good. It's so good. Wait until we put a glaze on one. They're so good. John said they could have a little more apple-y flavor. Uh-huh. That's true. I feel like we could have like sliced up very thin apples. And added it to the like, dough. Like even like cooked them a little bit before to where they were almost like translucent and like added it to the dough. Mm-hmm. We should have done but that. But they're right. so, it almost tastes like a cinnamon fall donut. I kind of love it though. Okay, let's make more. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna crush through these. Crush through them. So you have successfully scrubbed to the end of the video. Congratulations. I am now here to test this beautiful creation. Kristen, do you need me to, you said you wanted me to say something? I wanted you to eat one. Oh. Mm. Oh, I've been drizzled. Oh, it's one John, what did we do wrong? Did you do something else? No, I don't think we did. It's just the oil, literally. And also, Chris, I feel like we need to make them oh. a little bit more thin, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Here is the texture we're working with. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, I feel like. It's a little bit, what do you think, Marcus? You said it feels burnt or something? This one's actually perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. The only it's tricky part is good. science. That's more moist in the center. That's what I'm talking about. This one is a little bit. It's just tricky to get the oil temperature right. Oily. John, you know what I think we're doing wrong? Huh? We're eating them too, too soon out of the fryer because those have been sitting and draining. Are they perfect? That's and what I said. They're much better. Let's have Marcus make a donut. Here, Mark, why don't you take this? Okay. But and I'll I, film you. But see, really, the trick to a a classic donut is. I don't want this hard, slappy, flappy bottom. I want to get it and roll it like a freaking snake. You know what I'm saying? You break this pup apart, you roll it like a snake. Ooh, ooh, it's a oh. snake snake. No, once you're done, you get it, and you go, oops, right back to itself. You guys say oops, you don't say oops. Ain't gonna work. Beautiful. Say oops. Get a little dog hair on it. And get it off. Just point it off like that. Okay. Oops, a donut. That see it. to me is a donut because Let me see, it. see how it's circular all the way around. That is what we call a classic donut. Now go ahead and place your donut. Why is it so heavy? Now you dunk your donut. 
Now see how that's bubbling like a geyser? They all, all bubble, of you know? them bubble, babe. No, 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 listen, mine is special. Oh my gosh, now look at that donut. Looks pretty good, to be honest. Now, now let's be real. Let's be real here. That is a good looking donut. See, this is what you want. You want it to be moist and delectable on the inside. Look at that. That looks so good to me. Straight dough. Straight dough. But you know what, Mark? Your aesthetic was much better than ours, I have to say. Here they are, finished, beautiful. That looks good. It's perfect. Mm. That with a cup of coffee in the morning. Oh my god. I love that. See, they look good. Eight out of ten. So, the key is, oil has to be perfect. It might take a few tries. When they come out, as much as you want to eat them hot, let them sit for five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. This was so fun and so good. How did you like Kristen's kitchen? First guest, it was an honor, wasn't it? It was an honor. Number one thing you should get from this video is go follow John on oh, Instagram. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys try out this recipe, make sure to send us some pics so we can see how yours turned out. Any last words, John? Happy fall. Happy fall. Happy fall.